This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Stifer High Speed Ring, 2.49 miles, 27.9 feet of elevation difference. Seven races here, one lap each. Let's go back to the used car dealership, or the used car dealership, to the dealership itself. And um, we already know what cars are available. I'm going to cave in. I'm going to cave in for this one because, uh, yeah, I can't say no. The 2005 Pescarello C60 Hybrid Judd race car. We're going full LMP1 for this one. That's a fuck ton of money we just spent, but you know what? We can get this done really quickly, like roughly 10 minutes or so. And I bought this one specifically because it's a GZPSP slash 5 slash 6 exclusive. That's why. We still have 2 million though. Oh wait, I already chose high speed ring. There's a chance we might have to money grind now, which is totally okay, because I'll have to, I'll do that off, I'll do it off screen. Racing R R1 tires? Okay. Uh I'm gonna put medium compounds on just to be on the safe side. Just for the extra actually I'm gonna put softs on. Just so that we can have all the grip. Because it is an LMP1, we're gonna have a lot of wheel spin. Oh dude, I'm it's such a small difference for GT7, but I'm so excited for the Windows design. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're probably gonna smoke at the start, but that's okay. Yeah, it's an Escudo one make, but see, the low drag of our car and the soft tires are gonna help out big time. But it is D-rated, so like, um, this could literally just be, oh god, 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 oh god. Obviously, the AI is going to be really slow right now. Oh, load, they coming. And I think High Speed Ring will be a good track to actually do some money grinding at, if we need to. We can use this car and just slap on softs. I reckon that once we, you know, they top out at like 205, we can top out at a much faster speed, and we have better drag than they do. I gotta be really careful with the brakes. This car just likes to slide around a lot, even on softs. Gotta be really careful. Yeah, 108. Yeah, we can get this done ASAP. We might actually have time to do the reverse variance at this rate. That could be pushing it. Alright, Tisho. I might stop streaming streaming soon anyways. Lunchtime? Nice. Any for me, bro? What about second gear? That's slightly better. Slightly better. Not perfect, but... Oh, me too, dude. I wonder what the final track is, because here's the thing, they announced 34 tracks, but if you go on the GT Planet, like, GT7 guide or whatever that they did, compiling all the all the stuff that's been confirmed, there's one track that's missing, obviously, from that list, so... I, I wonder what that last track is. I'm just excited for this game in general. The Apricot? Oh, it could be Apricot. That's right. I forgot wasn't on there. It's probably I forgot Hill then. Whoops. My entry was pretty bad, but I don't think I've copied down is coming back, bro. Yeah, they did. I believe I believe they did. I'm not 100 percent sure though. Honestly, what I really just want is NASCAR, bro. Because we have Northern Nile, we have Blue Moon Bay, Daytona, and High Speed Ring. I think that's the strat with this car, actually. Start in third, go down to second. So we're barely at driving level, uh, rating level B, so like... This is still no indication as to what the AI is going to be like once we get to S. Or A, actually. Yeah, dude, like, and that's the thing. You know, like, nowadays, I think I've said this before on stream, 
Nowadays, you don't have to go and license every single livery for for the cars, you know what I mean? Because back in Gran Turismo 3 and 4, 5 even, like, it made sense during the time, right? Where you had to go and license, you know, the Castro Tom Supra, or the Denzo Sard Supra, or in the case of NASCAR, the Kyle Busch stock car, the, um, the Denny Hamlin stock car. You could literally just have one car, or two cars, or three cars at most, and let the community do whatever, because, hey, they're not breaking any rules. It's not, it's not against copyright. You know what I mean? Like you said, we have so many talented livery creators in Gran Turismo. Sim racing in general that, like, you don't have to license anything. iRacing literally just licenses the car themselves. So you don't have to, like, you know, spend a bunch of money on licensing like you did back in the day. You can do it on the cheap and still give the user base a great experience. Yeah, we're overkill with the softs on this car. The Escudo is probably much better at any other course, but high-speed courses. If that, I know that probably doesn't make sense to some people, but the car tops out at 205 or so, and then also we have better drag. Because this car is very low profile, given it's an LMP1. It's a weird... Not hood cam. So high up. It's so weird on an LMP1 because it's it's much higher than the actual car itself. It's over the roll hoop. Like way over the roll hoop. Is it on the back wing? I can't tell. Do I care? Not really. It's a it's a camera. Alright, three more races to go. We're gonna get back to two million after this. We'll do the last three races at high speed ring with the copy cam. Whoops. Well, I forgot to start... Forgot to start with my strat, but that's fine. Yeah, see, the drag... See, all you have to do is go on the high side and just come down. So if anybody's wondering why I'm starting like that... For those who haven't played GTPSP, obviously the PSP's buttons themselves are not pressure sensitive. Therefore, it's either 100% throttle or 0% throttle. Yeah, the driver does have some nice hands, dude. Good smack to the wall just for rotation. Obviously, that's a... That's, that's, a, that's a true sim racing strat right there. Depending on what cars are next for the dealership, we might be able to do one uh, the reverse variants. I'm not sure yet. That's like pushing it because it's 9.18 in the morning. I'm, I should have been off at 9. Again, whoops. Forgot to do the strat. I don't think I need to do it anyways. Around the corners where we fly... Dude, that would have been badass if this car won. Did this car finish second? Like, this was like the only privateer that could actually freaking challenge Audi. Like, the Audi factory team and then the not... And then the Audi privateers. Which, I don't really count as privateers. I mean, I know that's still a privateer, but the R8 was just way too good of a car. Yeah, we get a lot of rotation in the corners, dude. I'm legit curious to see what S rating is like. We might do an S race just for, for shits and giggles with this car. With these Scudos. I wonder if they can get any closer to us in S rating. Because this is just a cakewalk so far. We got one more race under the A rating before we get our S rating. Let's go. Second, oh my god, two laps down? Fuck. Damn, dude. Dude, Audis were way too OP during that time, bro. Holy fuck.
Yeah, okay, so I'm looking at the time. I'm really pushing it on the stream time, so what we'll do is, um, we'll just go and, uh, we'll do an S race and then call it a day. I don't care what the next dealer, the next dealership cycle could have, like, the fastest car in the game. I don't care. Because we're really pushing it with time. Glick and Scheisse? Yeah. Anything's better than fucking Glick and Scheisse, bro. Fuck Glick and House. They're idiots, bro. They're the big- they're the big dumb of the racing community. Alright, so we reached driver level S, but I'm curious to see what the- what the field strength is like. I don't normally do S races for the Let's Play, but... Let's see what it's like, even if we lose the cares. I know, right? With the power of just one tweet, you you ask for violence. Okay, they are closer. Oh yeah, they're much closer. You get thirty thousand credits for winning this race with this car. Oh fuck! You did, Alvaro. ESP limitations. Hardware limitations, isn't it? Isn't it a wonderful thing? Yeah, the Escudos don't really have enough to challenge you for the win, but they at least put up a as good of a fight as they can. If I had lost that, oh my god, dude, that would have been that would have been comedic gold. If I had lost the race just like that, they don't have enough to win. And I nearly fucking lost the race. Unless it's an emulator thing. Could be an emulation thing, but 30,000 credits. If we need to money grind, which is a possibility, then um, if this combo would be the quickest way for me to money grind a bunch of money. Because I'm not going to go to test course. Because obviously that would be breaking the order. Because we're going in alphabetical order from left to right on the tracks. So yeah, that is high speed ring complete. We got to do it all again in reverse.